welcome back to my Make Believe Cooking Show. I'm Jen from Jen's Extraordinary Life, and today um, we're gonna make, or attempt to make, <laughs> some pumpkin pie spiced chocolate bark. So I picked up a few things yesterday at the store and I thought, this sounds really good in my head. We're gonna see if it turns out really good, but um, the idea is, dark chocolate layer on the bottom. So I grabbed these dark chocolate melting wafers from Ghirardelli, can't go wrong there. Pumpkin pie spiced white chocolate. So I got these. And then I grabbed some, these were by the salad prep stuff, but it's um, dried and sweet. Cranberries gla and glazed walnuts. So that sounded good. I thought that'd be a nice little topping. Cranberries and pumpkin and all the things kind of Thanksgiving-y, fall-ish. And then more cranberries and some almond slices. So we're going to give it a try. How hard can it be, right? Um, it's kind of like peppermint bark. You just, you know, make the things. But I'm going to teach you a trick. So I have my, I'm making this in a smaller pan. You could do it whatever size you want but I've got a smaller pan with some kind of deep sides. This is probably like uh, nine by 13 or eight by 12-ish size. Flip it over because you want to line it with um, tin foil, but the easiest way to line it, and hopefully this works since I have you guys on camera, you want a little bit of it to hang over the edges. So I take my tin foil, put it upside down on my pan, kind of centered, and then form it really good without ripping it. And then take it off, flip my pan back over, and set that down inside it. And I feel like that's just a little bit easier. And then you've got your edges there. But you don't have to do it that way. That's just a little tip I thought I'd share with you. Now, I'm going to spray this because I, I don't want stuff to stick. And I didn't get my spray out, so let me get that real quick. Okay, so just cooking spray of choice. Lightly spray the bottom of that. And then we're going to melt this Ghirardelli chocolate. Now the way I do it is put it in either a silicone or a glass. We'll do this in silicone. Um, measuring cup and then microwave it. I'll tell you how I do it and then I'm gonna read the instructions. I put it in there in 30 second intervals, stir it, and then just keep checking it. Let's see what it says in, on the actual directions. Half power for 30 second intervals. Eh, I do it at full power. You just don't want to burn it. So let's pop it in there for 30 seconds. Um, so what I'm going to do is once that gets melted, I'm going to pour it in the bottom of this, spread it out, go pop this in the freezer, and let that get nice and hard while I'm making the rest of it. And then pull it out, put the white, um, the pumpkin infused white chocolate and, um, then the little toppings and stuff. So let me stir that real quick. All right, put it in for another 30 seconds. It started melting. It hasn't melted all the way through. I really just want to lick this spoon, but I'm not going to. you were going more of like a sugar-free route, um, 
I'm making this for other people, so I'm not, but you could use the Lily's chocolate. I've done that before with the Lily's chocolate. Um, let me go ahead and put my white chips in here. Okay, let me check that microwave real quick. Okay, it's almost all the way melted. Let me show you. There's still a few pieces in there that are not melted all the way through. So I don't want to burn it. I think I'm just going to keep stirring it until that melts. Because the last thing you want is burnt chocolate. But it's melting as I stir it. So that was one minute for that bag. Let me see what size this bag is. It's a 10 ounce bag of the dark chocolate. Okay, yeah, it's all it's all melted through now. So you wanna kinda of spread this as evenly as you can. Getting it all the way. And this is just gonna make a really thin layer of dark chocolate on the bottom. And then we're gonna put more, a thicker layer of the pumpkin infused white chocolate on the top. So it'll be a little thicker on the top. But I just thought it would be fun to have a nice little thin layer of dark chocolate on the bottom. Okay. Let me just spread this as evenly as possible with the back of my spoon. Just don't want to have any holes anywhere and then when we after it's all finished we'll just pull this tin foil out and then break it up like like bark like like a peppermint bark or something but this one is going to be pumpkin okay so doesn't that look great mm -hmm, yummy okay i'm gonna go pop this in the freezer while I make the rest of it. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, that's in the freezer. The idea is for that to just get good and hard. Now, um, I want the top layer to be a little thicker. It's got the pumpkin spice in it. So I got two bags. Uh, these are 12 ounces. Two bags of these white chocolate morsels. Looks like a lot of chips, doesn't it? Let me taste them. So good. All right, we're gonna melt these. Obviously, that's gonna take a little longer to melt um, because it's more. And then I've got pumpkin pie spice. And then again, these toppings that I picked up and we'll just kind of, kind of play with it a little bit. You could make your own glazed walnuts or you could do pecans. I, I was really looking for glazed pecans and I couldn't find them. Even attempted to start melting yet. It's okay. I'm stirring it anyway. It's a lot of chips. Okay, so I think it'd be really good with pecans on it, but I couldn't find any. And I didn't have any time to make my own glazed peanuts. Uh, not peanuts, pecans. Did I say peanuts? I don't know what I said. Anyway, but the cranberries, I thought were gonna be really good. So we had a little bit of almonds, honey almonds. I think the sweet and the pumpkin spice and then the, the bitter dark chocolate, I think it's just all gonna meld together really nicely. Okay, it's starting to melt.
I'm just giving it a stir. We're just going to stir this every 30 seconds. And not melt it. I mean, not burn it. You could use a um, spatula, which I will when I get closer to the melted stage. But I'm just kind of got a, a thick, heavy soup spoon that I'm stirring it with right now. And I don't know how much pumpkin spice it's going to need. I'm going to kind of play with it. We'll just kind of see. All right. 30 seconds. nice and melted. The sides and the top not so much so I'm stirring it really good to get all that kind of mixed in. I'm thinking another 30 seconds might be enough. That might do the trick. We'll see. Um, what else do you think we could put on the top? I wonder if you guys have any ideas. I'd love to hear them. Oh, there's my, my 30 seconds. Let's give that a stir. So, like that dark chocolate, it's almost melted all the way through, so I'm just going to go ahead and stir it and let it finish melting from the stirring. And then let's put some pumpkin pie spice in there. I'm going to go with, let's see what I got here. Half a tablespoon. Let me start with that. Might be a lot. I feel like you could make this as spicy or not spicy as you wanted to. But I got a lot of chips here. Oh, here's the other thing. This, this was in my head and, and it's actually working. So I'm super excited about that. It makes it kind of, um, can you see how it's kind of speckled? That's fun. I was kind of hoping that would work out and it is. All right, let me go grab that dark chocolate that's been sitting in the freezer and we will add this to it. And this is like the easiest dessert ever. Maybe I'll be right back. Okay, that dark chocolate got nice and hard in that couple of minutes, so that's awesome. All right, we're gonna pour this over it now. It's probably not gonna spread as easily because the chocolate's in the bottom. And we want it to stick to the dark chocolate so it's not two separate things. So I'm going to get it on there really fast and then kind of go to town with spreading. Oh yeah, it's spreading easily. So kind of you want to make it as even as you can. Definitely would not do this in a bigger pan bigger cookie sheet. This smaller one seems to be perfect. All right, let's make it pretty with the back of the spoon. All right, let's take our, I don't want to put too much of this on here, but enough to just kind of make it pretty. I'm going to put it in my hand first.
I'm going to just kind of take this spatula and press this down in there just a little bit. I don't like what's happening when I do that. But I don't, I want to make sure that it's not just on the top, but that it's going to freeze to the chocolate. Okay. I think that's fine. All right, I'm going to pop this in the freezer, let this get good and hardened, and then I'll come back and break it and show you how pretty it is. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Earlier today, we made this beautiful pan of pumpkin spice inspired block bark. Pumpkin, this beautiful pan of pumpkin spice bark. So remember, we put it in the tin foil in the pan and lined it, uh, sprayed the tin foil so that it doesn't stick. So look how beautiful that turned out. Didn't stick to anything. Can you see that nice thin layer of that dark Ghirardelli chocolate and then the pumpkin bark on top and all the flavors? So all you do with this, it's frozen. And all you do is take and kind of break it up a little bit. And I might have to wait and let it thaw a little bit because it's very frozen right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. So I'll come back once I get it thawed a little bit and show you how great it looks. Mm -hmm. 